Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. I want to get into a little quick video. I had a request on how to get involved. So we're going to quickly get through XRP, the best digital asset for global payments. XRP offers financial institutions the fastest, most reliable option for sourcing liquidity on demand. Click on demand liquidity. You have smarter use of capital, even in hard to reach markets. Avoid free funding with instant settlement. International payments, especially in emerging markets, require businesses to hold pre-funded accounts in destination currencies. It's a costly endeavor that ties up resources. RippleNet provides an alternative. While any financial institution on the network enjoys reliable instant and lower cost transactions, those who use the digital asset XRP to source liquidity can do so in seconds, freeing up capital and guaranteeing the most competitive rates available today. So the next thing we're going to get into in a quick intro to Stellar. Stellar is an open source network for currencies and payments. Stellar makes it possible to create, send, and trade digital representations of all forms of money dollars, pesos, bitcoin, pretty much anything. It's designed so all the world's financial systems can work together on a single network. Stellar has no owner. If anything, it's owned by the public. The software runs across a decentralized open network and handles millions of transactions each day. Like Bitcoin and Ethereum, Stellar relies on blockchain to keep the network in sync, but the end user experience is more like cash. Stellar is much faster, cheaper, and more energy efficient than typical blockchain based systems. Here we have Stellar Lumens. The Stellar was made to support digital representations of any currency, but it also has its own built in token called the Lumen. Created to fill a special role in the network by design, Stellar requires that each account hold a small number of Lumens at all times. This Lumen requirement is modest, and a few is more than enough for most accounts. The full technical details are covered in Stellar's docs. You can feel free to click on the link here. It will send you directly to the documents. But below, we explore some high-level concepts. I'm not really going to go into that. I just want to quickly go over the surface material of what each of these are. As I was requested to do a quick video on how a new investor could uh, get involved. Which currency should they choose? And here was my input. I have found that Ripple and Stellar are connected to the entire new financial system. So those are the only two that I will use as an example. And it's a great thing that I did because it gets better by the end of the video for new investors. As a quick representation, XRP and XLM are pretty close to the same speed. But again, it is designed for peer-to-peer, -peer, underbanked and unbanked, where XRP is designed for enterprise institution and wholesale market. So it's designed to move a larger volume, where XLM is designed to move faster, smaller volume. So it would make sense why it is faster. But let's get into this. Payments moving across the XRP ledger settle in four seconds. And if you scroll down, you can see Bitcoin, three to six transactions per second three to six. Ethereum does about 15 transactions per second and XRP runs on average 1500 transactions per second. Actually scalable over 65,000 transactions per second to be faster than Visa and MasterCard. Here we have scalable XRP consistently handles 1500 transactions per second 24 seven and can scale to handle the same throughput as Visa. And here is the source, 65,000 transactions per second as of July 15, 2019. And here we have a transaction settlement time. Bitcoin on average is 60 minutes. Litecoin on average is 10 minutes. Ethereum is two minutes and XRP is decimal zero seven minutes, averaging about three to five seconds as it states on average, right in the middle is four seconds. So you can see why they are my favorite. They're the most green using the least amount of energy and they're the fastest scalable, making them the least volatile because of its speed alone. And then on top of that, they have additional security measures. Okay, moving beyond that, as I've used an example, the two best in my opinion on this channel. And here we have both of them available on Coinbase. Coinbase is probably the easiest exchange and the largest exchange in the U.S., and they've stated to be FDIC insured. 
And from personal experience, they are excellent and one of my favorites. Next, you would go here, you'd create your account, put in your name, put in your obviously first name, last name, put in your email, create a password, and put in whatever state you're from. Certify you're 18 years of older, of age or older, create your account. Then you're going to go in, you're going to set up your KYC, know your customer, connect all of your banking information so that you can purchase and buy direct from your account. And when you sell from Coinbase, you can put it back in to the account that you chose to connect to your Coinbase account. The best way at that point, Coinbase does have a wallet. I personally do not use it. I use cold stores cold storage offline and it's e equivalent to what you're familiar mentally with as your vault and that would be the ledger you have two options like a ledger nano s and a ledger nano x the s is a basic uh like simple version and then you're going to have your x which is going to be like bluetooth some people prefer that option you know state that it's simpler but i am just pretty much favorable to the s not really much difference as far as the connection and how it operates, but the Nano S is about, today it's about half price, around $58, and the Nano X, I believe, is around $100, $120. The pricing continues to go down, so. Okay, here we have the Nano X. As I stated, the Leto Ledger Nano X is a Bluetooth-enabled secure device that stores your private keys, make sure all your crypto assets are safe wherever you go. Okay, here we have the standard connect your USB ledger nano s so there you have it it's basically that simple if you come in and you get your ripple and your stellar obviously it's going to be your xrp and xlm as you're purchasing from the exchange go into coinbase set it up you can locate those two digital assets get those and either store them on your um, coinbase wallet or put it safely offline into your ledger nano s or x if you prefer the bluetooth and that's really about it it's about that simple everything is kind of a, a, a walk yourself through process and if you are interested um, there are a few really good videos on how to set up your coinbase and directly put it onto the ledger there's a lot of options on that these are just a quick video on what you can do and how to do it for a new investor finish it off with a final thought when you start seeing your worth you'll find it harder to stay around people who don't all right guys much love to all of you and we'll catch you in the next video